In this video we're going to look at some options that relate to quantification regions and their use on survey spectra to gather information about photo emission peaks. The options that I'm particularly going to focus on are related to copying and pasting of regions. And the use of this copy and paste option is to allow a region to be added to a spectrum without modifying existing regions on that spectrum. And in particular, when we have a set of regions that have been defined on a set of spectra, but we want to add a new region, then the option paste copied region to display tile list allows a region that has previously been copied to be applied to a, a set of spectra that are displayed in the scroll list in the left hand side. Now a scroll list appears when we display spectra one per tile and then we get a scroll bar which allows us to step through these different spectra. And this is the mechanism for indicating which spectra should receive the copied region. To illustrate how this button works, what I've done is I've prepared a set of spectra and each one of these spectra now have a set of three quantification regions. And these correspond to the oxygen, the silver 3D and the carbon 1S. And if I now add a quantification table based on both in profile format, I have none of these tick boxes active so when I press apply I end up with a quantification table that will be a list ordered by the experimental variable of these regions that are extracted from the selected VAMAS blocks. So if I select all of these VAMAS blocks then you can now see that we have a table of carbon S, oxygen and silver for each one of these spectra. And you may want to do this for this particular type of sample because the film is a silver film on top of a silicon wafer and then subsequently you may decide that you want to include some kind of information that's gathered from these silicon peaks. Now, as silver interferes with the silicon 2P, we'll make use of the silicon 2S in order to illustrate how this button will work when we copy and transfer a specific region to all of these other spectra. So the first job is to create the region. I'll bring up the element library and I'm going to indicate the silicon 2S. I'll say create when line selected and zoom when line selected and that gives me a region and that is created because I have the regions property page topmost when I selected the line and I had these two tick boxes active. I'll untick those so I don't create any further regions and what I have is a region which is now defined on one of these spectra. If I look at any of these other spectra only the original three regions are present so what I need to do is copy this region and what I'll do is I'll delete it. When I delete the region is entered into the same buffer as when you say copy. So now I have a effectively a copied region and if I make a selection of all of these VAMAS blocks and display these spectra one per tile so you can see here I can scroll down the list and see all of these spectra that I've selected in the right hand side now displayed in tiles and in order to make this copy operation I need to then say paste copied region to display tile list so all spectra appear in the scroll tile list in fact what I'll do is I will now change the number of tiles per page so that we can see this operation occur and each one of these spectra now indicate the three regions I say paste copied region to display tile list and it asks me do I want to do this operation I say yes I want to continue and now each one of these spectra now has a silicon 2s region that is defined and if we go back to the original one tile per page we can see the quantification table is now including the silicon 2S. Given these data in this format where we've got a set of regions defined on each one of these spectra, we can now look at some of the properties of these profile format annotation 
and also an option that allows us to reorder regions on a specific VAMAS block. So this button here that says order, if I select this we can choose a different way to order the regions. So currently it comes in as carbon, oxygen, silver and silicon and this was the order they were effectively created. However we could order them by binding energy in which case I select this option and press OK and so the order is now oxygen, silver 3D, carbon 1S and silicon. And this has a consequence for the profile format annotation. These regions are now in a different order on the first spectrum. All of the others have the same order. They all appear, as you see here, in a, in a full table. However, when the order has changed, then there is a separation. And this is because the regions no longer align. And hence you get two tables rather than the one. And for each table that I adjust, so for example if I go down here and I perform the same order operation on these, then I return to the the VAMAS block with the quantification table and select all of these. We now see there are multiple tables appearing. And this is because I've now rearranged another one that's had experimental variable three. And this now has the same order as the first one, but it differs between these two sets of 1, 2, and then 4 to 9. So you end up with multiple tables. So if we want to see a single table, it's important that all of the regions appear in the same order, and there are the same number of quantification regions in order to get a single table appearing when you use the profile format.